At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. If he's here for a mirror, why'd Corypheus say he wants a well of sorrows? I am uncertain of what he referred to. You're not certain? You said you knew what he was looking for. I suspected. I did not know. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus' people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn or Grey Warden. So that's how the bastard survived, Hawk. We'll find a way to stop Corypheus once we're done here. It is strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. Yes? Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies, that is the real question. Well, answering that question, let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Why our dear Empress tolerated that is one of the mysteries of our age. Why, Madam Vivian? I expected sweeter barbs from a tongue as subtle as yours. Does this place unnerve you so? Or is it I? You unnerve me as would a cockroach crossing the floor, making me think new accommodations might be required. <laughs> Much better. You said this Mythal was worshipped as a goddess? So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mathal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mathal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. There are varied accounts of Mythal? In most stories, Mythal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mythal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mythal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mythal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the Elven Gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the Elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinter. Who can say? You've seen the Elves here. They seem odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. If they keep records, it could change everything we thought we knew about history. It is thrilling, no? discover an era thought lost forever has possibly thrived in the shadows. We may, however,
find these elves reluctant to part with their long-kept secrets.